I love golf, man. Oh my God, be good. Unbelievable hole. This and the next hole, cross water and back across water, so good. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, right? I thought I'd do an intro a little bit different. I wanted to do, kind of, I've been waiting to do this video for a while. We are here at Quinta de Lago, as you can see by this massive sign behind me. And today is a very, very special video because what we're going to do is we're going to do my first round of the year. So I wanted to do a video um, just to show you, I've been wanting to do it in England, obviously the courses just are not drying up. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it here on the south course. We'll just get to Portugal um, for one of the, the golf trips. So we've got 50 lads arriving tomorrow. But I thought today would be a good chance just to get out on the course, prove to myself where my game's at so I know what I've got to work on for the rest of the season. Um, the season is starting soon, comps and all that kind of stuff. All the 2020 tour, all the smaller tour events are going to start in England pretty soon. And I want to see where I'm at. I want to see where my irons are at, where my driver has been good, putting, chipping, and also show you lot where I'm at. So we know together what we can do this year. Obviously, the goal has always been scratch. I want to be a scratch golfer. I will not stop until I am a scratch golfer. And I'll continue having a lesson every month with Chris, working. I'm going to go back and do some aim point stuff with Mark Bentley um, and hopefully get down and see Dan Greaves again for a little bit of short game stuff. So if I can't get a scratch with the help of them three, there's a problem. But look, Quinta de Largo, the sun's shining, there's hardly any wind, probably a light breeze. Um, front nine, there's no water. Back nine, we get a little bit of water and par freeze. But yeah, just sit back, relax, tell the missus to piss off, get a beer, get a coffee, whatever you want, and we're gonna, we're gonna play some golf. We're gonna play 18 holes, every shot shown. But look, my head hasn't been in the right space to get as many videos out as I'd wanna get out. Um, obviously, I went, went broke up with the missus um, back in kind of October. Um, so look, obviously we haven't been fully committed to the golf channel, but the weather has been crap. Um, I feel like I'm in a good place now. So yeah, um, I want to get back to getting two, three videos out a week. Really good content, loads of stuff planned, loads of collabs planned. Um, and yeah, really get back on it because I've missed golf over winter. Uh, I've been smashing the gym, but nothing compares to golf especially for your head. So look, lads and girls, I appreciate all the messages and stuff. I do apologise. We haven't got as many videos out as we normally do. Um, and they've kind of just been a little bit, a little bit all right videos. Some have been a little bit shitty. Um, but yeah, let's get back to it. What a gaff, by the way. Quinta de Lago, South Course. First tee's just there. Let's get it. Right, Quinta de Lago, South Course. Let's have it. And then put one straight in the trees. Get down, get down, get down. Right, bit of a pickle. See, look, flag's literally just through there. And I'm just debating whether, <laughs> if I can just hit it, does it come up and miss that tree? Um, we've got, my watch actually isn't working yet. I'm not sure what we've got, I think. Or I go on for one of them little Instagram-y shots, you know, they just punch them really low. But I want to see where my game's at today and I want to really try just to show everyone where, where I'm at because I think it's the first proper round we've done this year. And I've had some good rounds. Some haven't been on camera. Um, some have. We've got one, two, five. I reckon I can hit a wedge and it's going to come out pretty nice. This is what I would normally do. So I'm just trying to keep it what I'd normally do if I was playing a comp at home or whatever. Hit a wedge. Does a wedge get there? Do you know what? There's a bit of a backstop. I can't really hit nine. Nah, actually. Wedge it is. Oh my God, be good. Be freaking good. Come off the bank. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Welcome to Portugal. It went under the tree. It actually went under the tree, I said, didn't it? I said, is it going to start under the tree and come off? Get it. I actually thought I was a little bit closer from up there, but we're not. So all I've got to do is just nip. I'm going to be an absolute pussy and just tap, tap, tap it down there. Oh, go in. Oh, do you know what? If I hadn't been a pussy, it would have went in. Right, good start. We're in the trees. Walk away with a paw. Let's go. So basically, where I'm at with my, where I'm at with my game at the minute, I said a bit at the start. Um, worked hard on 
driver driver's getting a little bit can get a little bit leaky to the right but i'm just trying to like square the shoulders up and hips if you see he's doing that like on the t um Chipping feels quite strong. Bunkers feel all right. Putting, I'm loving the aim point. Um, just got a whole a few more birdie puts. And irons as well. I'm striking it well. Um, it's, it's again just about narrowing that miss and not pulling it and not trying to block them. Um, we've got a few lessons with Chris coming up. Um, but yeah, I actually feel in a really good place. So it'll be interesting to see what I can score around here. Um, the greens are unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I just freaking love being away playing golf. But yeah, let's go. I kind of want to play a bit of a draw on this. Or... Oh. Send it over that tree. A bit of a fade. Oh my freaking days. Over the tree, baby fade. That is munched as well. It's a par five as well. It's a par five. Come on. Right. That looks absolutely missions. I've hit driver. And we've still got 285 to front. It's pointless even hitting. Pointless even hitting three wood. Uh, I'm just hit a four iron, leave myself a little ladder drill shot. Four iron, just brush the corner of this tree. I've been liking this four iron as well, the little T200. I got a bit of a more forgiving four iron. I actually really like it. I call it, guys. We got. I mean, that is as best I can hit a four iron. That's it, as I die. It's come down middle. Come on. Come on then. Right, I got 76 yards playing. That's 77. It doesn't look like that. I hate wedge shots. Some of them look 65, some don't, but it says 75. So like for me, that's like a kind of a shoulder. What's the front of the green? Yeah, shoulder to shoulder. You know what? Go for distance. I just yeah, and again expectations for me i played with a uh, golf supply ash and he's a plus one golfer and he was hitting shots where if it was me i'd been like oh what was that but he it never phased him he never really i think my expectations are, are way too high i need to understand that putting a wedge to 10 foot is a really good shot so yeah different mentality today different mentality i know i've said this a lot as well aim point some people don't like it, but it has changed my game so much. And it's not actually about holing the putts. I think it's about your misses are better. They're on the right side of the hole. Might have gone a bit too much. Yeah, this is a massive hilly green. It's going to slope. I have to get the pace right. Didn't read it enough. Didn't read it enough, but look, my miss. Was actually all right. If I'd have, if I'd gone about normally being aimed here and not here, the ball would be down here, and that is an awkward putt. So sometimes with the aim point, it's not about actually holding the putts. It's about having better misses. And a lot of people ask about aim point. And do you know what it is? I think there's a few people in the company that do it. Make sure you go and see a proper aim point specialist if you do want a lesson. Um, I had mine with Mark Bentley. I know there's a guy down at Woburn. Uh, I know there's a few other people that do it. Um, I had one lesson, literally one lesson changed my putting. Um, it doesn't take long, people think it takes ages to do aim point, it doesn't. Honestly, give it a fucking blast because, like I said, it's not about a hole in the putt, it's about the, uh, the misses as well. You'll see that today, but I'm not going to fill a me aim point in every single hole because you would get sick. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely worth it. If you are struggling with putting, you've got to have a look at aim point. Started there on that palm tree in the distance. Should be good. And I just want a baby fade, I don't want to. Pull that hip back. Fade a bit more now. But it'll be right right hand side. Coming down now. Yeah, just on that white building background. Take that. That like said, a lot of people asking obviously about drivers and stuff. You know the cheating stick still in the bag. It's like my little freaking baby, man. Don't think I'll ever. But it'll take a lot to part with it. Good drive to be fair. I think we've got came down in the middle of the fairway. It's not going very far though. I'm only hitting like 250. Um got 150 to the pin. I've got a 99. Don't, bunker. Don't go to bunker. Oh, what a lucky bounce. Just bounced right off the rough. Hopefully a little chip get up and down. 
just so pure, man. Look around. Just look. Sun's sun in the trees. All these posh villas. And here's us just hacking it about. Level par. Let's go. Quite like the idea of putting this, to be honest with you. And just just giving it a good put and let it release on. But we're gonna we're gonna chip it just to see how the chipping is. Do you know what? Oh, happy with the chip, but just skid it off the wet. How is that missed? No, oh. oh, little bogey. I don't, know, I, I don't even know how that even went there. Literally. So with the aim point, you get like that for the for a slow green. If you, you'll see like Fleetwood and that in Dubai, and they're like here. So before you're round, you're kind of meant to calibrate where you're going to be. So obviously I went about there. So it just needs to be that little bit more. But now I know. Right, we've got a little par three here. It's in between a, a very big wedge and a nine iron. And I can't go nine iron just because long is, long just is a hedge. <laughs> long is just dead. So we're just going to go a little wedge. Draw. Keep drawing. It's gone straight. Yeah, front edge, probably wasn't big enough, but there's nothing I can really do. I couldn't go nine. I went nine, it would be big. Two put, paw, get out of here. Still a bit annoyed that bogey, but a little dodgy chip and the putt was nearly there. So, yeah, we got it. Also, as well, when I put, you might see me just tucking my uh, tucking my arms under like this. Basically, when I put, kind of got a bit armsy. So, if I do this and tuck everything under, everything just kind of... Stay, my arms stay connected to my body so yeah that's why i do the little the little weird tuk tuk right we've got a long long put it's all about pace Zip. yes from there i'm taking that like i said it's hard three or four four getting to the greens but it's so, so, so freaking nice. And it makes you so excited for summer when you're putting on greens like this. It just, for me, does anyone else feel like it's been the longest winter ever? It rained all November, then it snowed, then it was frosty, then it was floods, then it rained more. It has been a nightmare. So yeah, just have faith because soon it'll be summer and we'll have eight weeks of sun and rain. <laughs> <laughs> then it'll be winter again. Right, we've got a par five. Dog leg right. If you're a slicer or a little baby fader like me, these are a dream. I am going to start it straight and it's just going to drift around that corner. Par five as well. It's 500 yards to the front. I would like to get there in two. Oh, <laughs> over the bunker, baby. Hey, man, I love golf. Annoyingly, it's freaking miles. We've got no rollout at all. And we've got still got 250. It's not a free wood shot, so just a layup with a 7 9. Yeah, nothing else I can do. Good layup, pussy shot, but pussies score well. Let's go. We've got um, we've got 92 yards, so I'm, I have to go full 56 because I have to get over this tree. Here's a par five, so get close, give us all a birdie put. If not, ah, I've pushed it. What is that? that boo! <laughs> That's so bad, so bad. Do you know what I just didn't realise as well? And it's another little thing in golf. Look, I'm on a hill. I'm literally on a hill. The ball is below your feet. The ball goes right. <gasps> so my ball's finished. Oh, wow. We've gone from nearly having a birdie put to up and down for par from absolutely no man's land. But yeah, that's one thing you forget. The ball below your feet, the ball goes right. I should have started that literally 15 yards left of the, the pin, let it draw around. Look at that bank. I literally landed on no one that ran back down. Close as I can really do. Try it. 
Trust the feet. Trust the feet. Get in. What a paw that is. So, for example, I'm going to get legs out the end point there. I'm here. I reckon last year that looks pretty straight to me. Right, good paw save anyway. Good paw save. Good up and down. Right, tricky one this because it's dog leg to the left, which doesn't really shoot my shape. I mean, I could try and hit a draw, but it could also hook. So I'm just going to nice smooth one just under this tree. And it'll just come, I hope it just peel off and land just past that bunker on the left. You know, listen to me. Look, there's something I knew what I was talking about there. Ah, that's going to be too big. Way too big. This one's gone, that. Do you know what? It's bouncing, but yeah. I, I kind of, this overhanging tree just, I can't like commit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Realistically, it's probably a four iron. Yeah, I would think Probably just could have went four iron to the corner. But, uh, not even that, really. A three wood, I need to get used to hitting my three wood more. Because what I do is, for some reason, I don't really, I don't. I nail my three wood when I actually hit it, but I bottle hit my three wood. This is a seven wood or a three wood hole. Now I would have had a perfect layup. But yeah, has anyone else hit three wood well, but struggle to hit it? Because I need to have more diversity off the tee. I need to get used to hitting different clubs off the tee. But yeah, let's keep it going. And also as well, um, everyone arrives tomorrow for the, for the golf trip. So I'll try and get this video up. And then we'll try and get um, all the kind of matches and subscriber stuff up. Because um, I have been slacking a little bit over winter. And that's nothing to do with really anything. Um, I haven't been putting out as many videos. Probably not as, as good videos that I normally do. But winter's been crap. And also just been going through a bit of a shit time. Um, not a shit time, but obviously me and the missus split up. Um, so yeah, I thought we were just to kind of living by myself. Um, seeing the kids um and all that kind of stuff so i've just been in the gym keep myself busy um and just working hard on myself so the golf hat took a little bit of a side side like back step but i do feel i think i'm in a good place kind of now my head's in an all right place um and yeah i'm excited for the summer and just to get back to making golf videos playing you lot and um, doing my lessons i'm going to do a few more little tournament stuff and just try to do a bit more of that but yeah it's been a bit of a slog at the minute but yeah I promise more videos are coming once the weather gets better. But yeah, just at the minute my head's down, heads up my arse a little bit. But I will get back to it and playing courses like this in the sun definitely, definitely makes me feel a little bit better. <sighs> right, it's going to find my ball. Actually, a well struck drive would have been a bit screwed here, but got a gap wedge, 120. Keep this par train going. We've only had one stupid bogey, really. And that was... Uh, that was that little chip that just got away from us. So nice smooth swing. Let's just put us on the green. If it's close, it's close. If not, we'll get we'll just keep consistent with them pause. Ow. How can I get there? Because I just nearly broke my wrist. What the hell was that? Yeah, my luckily it was my follow-through. Hit the ball and I went bang! That <laughs> Imagine that first day in Portugal. Da -da 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 -da, bang! Snap my wrist. That'll be bad. That'll be bad. Oh, right. That actually looks quite close. To be fair. Bit of close. I love a little birdie. Get back a level paw. By the way, for the for the real old G's that I've been watching a while. How do you think I'm playing? How do you think the golf game's coming on? What do you think I need to work on? Get in the comments. Don't get excited and race it past. <laughs> Nice, smooth swing. It did break a lot more than I said, but I did bottle it. Good paw on the end, considering the tee shot was shite. And we are still one over from that stupid little chip, but we move. It's consistent, and that's what I kind of worked on. Like I said, narrow my misses um, and just making sure the dispersion is kind of better. And then let's say one on a good day, let me have a shot three under um, in La Cala or when I played against uh, Bullard, the best ever round, the putts just drop. So once these putts start dropping, we pop it. Right, we've got a nice little par three here. I've got a nine iron. I'm just slightly worried down breeze. It might be a bit much, but it's a nice smooth swing. It also might land friggin' on it because it is the actual number for this nine iron. I've thinned that. 
but it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Go on. Go on. Ah, oh, middle of the green. I can't complain, but I definitely thinned it. Get away with that. Middle of the green. Irons wise, T T one fifties. Gotta say, these things are freaking unbelievable. Turn no. Shall I turn there? Good distance. And we've got a tap in pass. Had no birdies drop, but we're playing well. Definitely playing well. All I'm thinking about is cats. You know! You know what we're thinking about. You're not for thinking about cats tonight in a few beers. Go on, everybody. Right, par four. By the way, what a day it is. I thought it might be a bit cloudy or a little bit thingy. It's not a drop of wind. Perfect sunshine. Just goes round to the right. So I started on the corner and then just let it let it go really. It is that is the babyest fade you'll ever see in your life. It was trying. <laughs> it was trying. <laughs> but we'll take it. It's literally just creeped around the corner and we'll have a little shot in. Steady away. Give Simon the cheating stick. That's the thing with driver, if I want to hit a massive, if, I, if I'll show you this way, what I've learned is if I want to hit, my hips are open, if I want to hit a big fade, do that. If you want to be like a little bit straighter, just pull that left hip and right shoulder back a little bit. And if I want to hit a draw, obviously I can pull that back and cl close myself off a little bit and I'll hit a draw, but I'm yet to try that on the golf course. Now I've got 113 in, that pin's just elevated. I do not want to be short, so it's 113. I'm actually going to hit like a 125 shot. 120 shot and I'm guessing everything's gonna come come back off the hill. It's gonna come do oh <laughs> I didn't catch it the best. And it's literally right inside the green. You probably can't see it. It's just sitting on that plateau. I don't know how close it is. It's red, it's a red flag, I meaning it's at the front here. Yeah, yeah so the pin's at the front, my ball's at the front. Again, hopefully another two put steady Paul We're playing steady, steady, boring golf. The boring golf is sexy golf. Got to get it through this thick grass first. I'm just going to bubble a bit. Oh my God! Oh, it was so close. What a birdie that would have been, by the way. Oh. That brushed all. I was aiming as well, by the way, like up here. Another par. That just that aim point came in very handy there. Because you can use it off the green as well. Right. Ninth hole, par four. I'm going to go straight at them bunkers. We're going to go straight at them bunkers. I think it should. Come on then, Gaza. Strong finish to the front nine. One over. I did one little blip. We've actually played quite well. And it should go straight or draw a little bit. Middle of the fairway. Big splash splash. I bet we did that again. It wouldn't happen. But yeah, that's how I hit a draw. I hit a draw by just changing things and set up. If I want to hit a fade, my natural shot, I'll just leave I set up open. So I set up like this, open. That's a fade. If I want to hit a draw, pull that back. Club comes on the inside. And it goes straight arrow draw. It's probably the stronger shot, the draw, but doesn't feel as natural, so I don't do it. 71. Probably just want to land it 65-ish. Actually, it's not uphill. Ball's going to spin to the right. Spin left, spin left, spin left. Yeah, we'll take it. Little ladder drill, 65 yards, just literally chest to chest. We know they're banging the number. You just got to trust it. I do like playing in summer and some of that because obviously you get proper breaking puts like at England at the minute because winter, nothing breaks. There's nothing better than a big swooping put. We're going to go three. It's going to be, I'm aiming about two, three foot outside the hole, uphill. Give it a dig. Give it a dig. There we go. Oh, 
How many? How many did they? Oh, but again, that's a good miss for me. Cause I, I'm aiming like up here. I'm not even lying. I'm aiming there. Oh, that's so close. We finished the front nine a one over, literally because of um, that one chip. The moment just caught up, and then I literally lift out again. We've had a lot of birdie chances. Um, I'm playing well. Consistent is what I kind of what I aim for this season. I want to be able to go into an event, or I want to be able to play against good players and hold my own. I want to be able to shoot one, two, three, four over max. Um, but yeah, look, one over. Back nine, Quint of the South, sun shining. Kima. Back nine, first hole, par four. It is a 400 yard par four, but I think if we get the hill, if I can get it over that hill, I think we're all right. I'm going to try and straighten this one up a little bit because it doesn't look like, actually, no, it does look like it's just a little fade. So we'll, we'll, we'll stick with the fade. Oh, we'll just hit it bullet straight and it might be get down. Yeah, to be fair, the ball's going. I feel like it's warmer, but I'm not hitting it as far. I bet that's only gone 250. Back nine, I'd love to be one, two over. I think a solid round. Quint of the Largo South. It's quite a, a course you've got to pluck your way around. I'd be very happy with that. Very, very happy. And not only just in this thick stuff, 170, I'm, I've got a 79, 174. And I'm, I'm hoping I can just muscle it out. And I mean, we got the gym in that. <sighs> Annoyingly, as I've gone straight in the bunker, or just over the bunker, annoyingly, I actually got it out. My alignment, once again, was shocking. Any tips for alignment, get in the comments, because my aim is shocking. Good strike, wrong aim. Right, we've got a little little chip here. I actually want it to run out, so i land it just on the green and let it roll out. Oh, go in. Oh, go in. Oh, go in. Oh! <laughs> oh, go in. That would have been the... Oh, tell you what, if some of these puts have dropped a day on these chips... Could have been frigging five deep. Ah, oh, do you know what? I even I even called it. I just kept my hands, just kept it low and spinny. Pa, good up and down from the rough. One eighty, get in. I actually really enjoy chipping and putting now. I used to really not not. I used to be scared of it, but once, like once I kind of trust it, it's so good. Yes, guys. Come on. We've got par three, it's been 153 yards. Got an eight iron just because the short is dead. I just want to pop this middle of the green. Ah, oh, apps. That was the worst shot of the day, that. That is shocking. That is absolutely. And you know what? I was standing over that for so long, fidgeting. Guys, you are shit. That was shit. In the bunker. It's just a nice move bunker shot, really, I think. bit more than that just a bit more bottled it a little bit <sighs> green scared us to be fair I just everything's so fast ah it's another one sit 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 come on we're not doubling it it's going straight in the cup confidence straight in Oh, I thought for a, for a split second we were going to have another one that went past. Bogey. Never been so happy to get a bogey. By the way, it's going to get exciting soon. There's a par three over there. It must be about 180 yards. It looks like it's going to breeze. Over water. We've got more water here. So towards the end of the round, it's going to get a little bit interesting. Have you played, by the way? Get in the comments. Have you played Quinta de Logo South? I feel like a lot of people have played these courses. South, North, Laringel. Um, but yeah. Loving it so far, two over. Let's go. Par five, shortest par five is 419 to the front. That's all it's playing. 
all we need to do is wrap around, around this corner which is good for me anyway just wrap around the corner my normal fade should be good leave my shoulders open <laughs> Can I just kill the greenkeeper? I think that's all right. That's the line. I mean, that's good, that. Yeah, it's you, I mean, you can probably see. It. I don't know if I've got a drone shot or whatever, but it literally is there, there. Yeah. So it says my watch. If I can carry it, two fifty. It only leaves one hundred and fifty yards in on that corner line. So I think we've got it. Right, like I said, it should be a given. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm keep my composure here. Well, just here, I just, like I said, you see the tee box is all the way back there. I'm just going to try. But honestly, it's just a nine iron into the green, two put, the birdie. Oh, thin it. Go, go. Yes. Whew. That was the worst. That's two bad iron shots in a row, that. That was awful on the par three, and that was awful, but that's on the green. That was so thin. Tell you what, that is lucky. Look, look at that landed. Then again, it wouldn't have went very far on that grass. Right. we go for my little chipping routine. So, again, what I do is tuck my arm under. Don't know why. I just do it. And if it's a little chip like this, I know it sounds mental, but obviously, like Dan Greavy style, it's a, Dan Greaves, it's a, it's a release one, but I need to make sure the club releases. So, I just take my right thumb off. And then I always tuck this under so like my arms don't go like out. So I tuck it under, weight forward, and just take my right thumb off. Nearly hold it again. It's actually a birdie putt. If one putt could drop all day, I wouldn't mind it being this. Quick aim point, let's say people think it takes ages. Doesn't really. Same amount of time as if you're looking from it from all angles. was a one oh, such an annoying literally a nine nine on the green two put birdie came out with a paw man that was the chance to get one back gutted about that but look got a par four here lovely looking hole plain oh is only playing 285 yeah. into it thing is though into a strong breeze and the ball hasn't been going very far today so I'm literally just going to go over the bunker and put it just up there somewhere. But like, if it was no win at all, you'd kind of go for it, but... Over the tree and far away. Yeah, it's about 50 short. But it's the line. Up and down for birdie. Up and down for birdie, you never know. Ah, cheating stick's going well. Just get used to the greens, I think. Right, we've got 55 yards. It's a little ribs to ribs, chesty to chesty ish. Try to give myself a little chance. A little look at Birdie would be nice. Just like that. Come on, just one put. One put drop. I'm going to go for a one. I think it's going to turn a little bit, not a lot. <laughs> oh, God. That's just shocking. Right, head up. What a good drive, good chip. We missed a putt by an inch. An inch. We're playing well. I am playing well. I feel like... I've just got to start trusting these lines and trusting the greens. Once I start doing that, I feel like it could go quite low. Next hole, come on. So there's a lot of water coming up. The round could go severely west. Not a long hole again. Good drive. We're going to have a little chip in again. Good drive. Chip in close. That is seriously, seriously close to that path, which is seriously close to that lake. Wait until you see that ball has ended up. <laughs> Jesus. 
it's down there, but it's risky as out. I feel like it's a little bit downwind. 63 yards, chest, chest, 65. So probably about a little ribsy one. All right, we're going to bottle it. I just thought chipping off a really tight, bold lie is a lot harder than you think. So we're just going to get one as close as I can. I've gone from maybe having a birdie putt to scrambling. Sit. I couldn't have got that close with the chipper, so but that is going to be the worst putt in the world. <laughs> this is going to be awful. Absolutely awful. That's gone. See ya. I don't, I don't have you to stop this. <laughs> that is important right? very short game. It doesn't really matter where you drive. Go. You drive. Look at the size of that fairway. But then a chipping from there. That's the club. That's the one that has to be dialed in. And if that's not dialed in, this thing has to be dialed in. You use your putter more than any other club in the bag, and no one's asked about it. No one's asked. Right, it's 160, I think it's 168 to the pin into a breeze. 190 is the back of the green. I've got a six iron. Six iron over the water. What a golf hole, by the way. What a par three. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's about 10, 15 foot. Come on! Yes! I love golf, man. Just gotta love it. That is, it's an unbelievable hole. This and the next hole, across water and back across water, so good. Got a little bit of lake there. Like I said, for March, this is just pure, man. This is as good as it gets. You and your mates, you're playing golf in the sun, got a t shirt on. That's why we play. And what I thought would be the fastest green ever. Turns out it's the slowest green ever. Take a par, what a golf hole. Um, it's unbelievable, honestly. I, didn't, I forgot there was water on quick in the south, but yeah, that was that tee box back there. Little one, like I say, 165 yards, playing about 180 with the wind. Simon's put in there, just looks unbelievable. And I think we'll go back and hit across the lake for the next tee shot. We're two over still. We're on fire. We're playing well. We're in Portugal. We're off to Cats tonight. Right, what a par three that was. Right, par four. It is literally 3.30, but it's going to play longer. Try and get off that, off that trap. Oh, my God. That might be the best drive of the day, that. Worst, one of my worst shots that I just haven't practiced. Bunker shots. Fairway bunker shots. Absolutely hate them. That is the best fairway bunker shot I've ever done in my life. I mean, it's it's landed and spun back. I wish I knew how I did that. <laughs> it's one of them where you do it and you think, how the hell did I do that? I think I just like try to nip it off the top, but normally I can't do them, by the way. Normally, if you ask Chris, he was like, what do you want your next lesson on? And I was like, fairway bunkers. So the fact we've got that out is good. Do you know what? Taking that all day. Get in, in point. Get in. Right, a little bit screwed here. Fairway would have been nice, but to be fair, we're 280 yards off. It's just died in the rough. So I'm just going to 7 iron it out. <sighs> yep, bounce left. Yeah. Be about a 100 yard shot in. Par 5 is what I need, really. 107. I like this yardage if you've watched me for a while. Shoulder to shoulder. 50. Normally flies 105. 105. 
105, it's on the number. Oh, Beetle, totally it. Shoulder to shoulder. Actually, a birdie put, isn't it? Yeah, driver, 7 iron, 105. Stop then. Ah, the paw. Never thought I'd say this, but I'm bored of freaking paws. Bored. I've had two bogeys and paws. I know. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Two over. We've yeah. Over. Right on the eighteenth. Just saying there. What a. This is a boring round of golf. I literally, I've, I've played all right. I've scrambled well, but I've had fifteen paws and two bogeys. Not one birdie puts drops. The paw, the paw fives haven't dropped. Obviously, it's the first round, but in Portugal, get used to the greens. But it's just such a boring golf. Anyway, let's fucking sky over this tree. Come on. See ya. This bash bash. Right, we've just actually, I actually got a bit cute with it. I probably could have went a little bit more, but we're going to run out of fairway. But anyway, 120. I've got a full gap. Nice smooth swing. I, I'm kind of not wanting to go at the flag. So if it goes left, I'm in that massive bunker. So I'm going to aim a little bit right of it, middle of the green, finish with another boring par. Unless I get close. I mean, there's safe guys, and then there's a freaking bailout. And then there's been a pissy. Got a long, long two put left. But on the green, another green and reg. Happy with that. I tell you what, from about 50 foot on these greens, I'm taking that. And again, aim point comes in well because I was aiming and I had a three here. So I'm, I'm probably just aiming up here somewhere. If I normally be just at the hole, I'll be down there. So to finish off, Quinta de Lago, South Course. Two bogeys and 16 pars. <laughs> now, what a round. Thank you for Quinta de Lago and uh, Quinta de Lago South for having us down. Um, unbelievable round. It's nice to get my first round of the year in on a nice course. To see how I'm playing, show you lot how I'm playing. Feel like it's solid, but let me know in the comments how you think I'm playing. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon. Two over. Who am I?